one of the biggest challenge right now I think every transition house probably is facing in lower mainland is the housing all the transition houses have like oh you can come stay with us for 30 days it is just sometimes just impossible for women to find housing in that 30 days um, the rental uh, properties are so expensive um, subsidized housing is limited and it just takes really really long time and it's very frustrating in or empty homes project um, in this uh, program what we do is we we go up to um, the landlords or the de local developers and we meet with them some um, enrichment we have a lot of these big empty houses that are just sitting um, usually they're going to be demolished and they probably have townhouses built up um, so what we do we ask these developers to at least give us those houses that they have um, six to one year easily and then we can house some of our families in there and that would give us enough time to work uh, with BC housing to find more subsidized housing and that also it gives uh, you know the neighborhood a safe place rather than having these empty homes and it attracts a lot of time um, you know break-ins which could be a huge issue for the for the developer and there's a city bylaw say that you have to keep the house secure so they have to board it up, it's going to be empty or sometimes they even have to hire security. So we go and pitch, look, it's a win-win situation for you. You know, you don't have to spend all this money on doing this and, and, and it's a good cause. We had one builder who's never charged us. He said, as long as just pay the hydro and the electricity, that's good enough. It, there are challenges because, um, you know, again, it's, it's still a temporary house, right? Yes, but it still gives us, it's, it's not a month, it could be six to one year, but it's still a temporary house, right? In the meantime, I think it gives uh, our clients a place, um, safe place to be in, uh, get connected. And, you know, a year for a lot of these women, it, 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 it's a lot of time. It's not just about housing, it's also the support. They need that support. They need that someone that they can talk to, need to know there are other women in the same situation. And I think more than the staff, the other women in the house really plays a huge role. And then when she sees she's not alone, there are other women in a very similar situation, you know, that gives more, so much more courage.